When I was in high school, I was bestowed the gift of a vintage leather jacket from a friend. And boy, did I ever like that jacket. It was rugged. It looked great. And I really did put that thing through the ringer. I wore this thing as often as I could until one day it just disappeared forever. Ever since, I have wanted a leather jacket that could take the place in my heart of that old brown racer, but just couldn't find one that had all the right qualities. Then I found out about Shot NYC on the YouTubes. I heard about their reputation for making the best, so I decided to fork out a significant amount of money to buy a shot and see if I'd love it as much as the one I wore over 30 years ago. Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm reviewing the Shot NYC 596, which is the antique cowhide rancher jacket with sheepskin collar. Now you might be wondering why I chose a rancher jacket to replace my old racer. And the reason really is twofold. First, at age 53, I've been told that it's just no longer cool for me to wear a racer, even though I did wear the one from Thursday and really liked it. In fact, the rancher, according to fashion gurus, is even kind of pushing the you're too old for a leather jacket envelope. But I'm all out of craps to give about that, so I got a leather jacket anyway. Second, I just really love that kind of Southwest workwear vibe, and this jacket really rocks it to the nth degree. All other degrees are number two or lower. The Rancher is made from a waxy cowhide leather that it's just a little bit lighter than say the naked cowhide and the steer hide, but it still has quite a substantial feel to it and this jacket actually weighs just over five pounds. It comes with a very soft removable sheepskin collar, it has two hand pockets, two zippered chest pockets, and an inside Napoleon pocket. It has brushed cotton flannel for the lining and a smooth polyester lining in the sleeves for easy on and off. The jacket also has adjustable side tabs for a more customized fit and a very sweet looking back yoke in keeping with the sort of ranch style. The leather is a gorgeous brown whiskey color that Shot calls luggage and the grain has a pretty loose pattern to it, giving it kind of a lived in appearance from the time you take it out of the box. Also, as the waxy finish starts to wear off, which it does rather easily, the creases in the leather are gonna become more apparent, giving it more of a vintage look. And I've actually noticed that happening right away. So if it just sort of gets a minor scratch or scrape, or even just wearing uh, a backpack on my shoulders, I've noticed that the wax does kind of come off easily, giving it sort of a worn look to it. The jacket is made in the USA and costs a whopping $1,135 as of this recording. We're gonna get into the good, the bad, and the bottom line of this jacket. And if you wanna take a closer look at what Shot has to offer, I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description below. All right, let's start off with the good of the Shot NYC Antique Cowhide Rancher Jacket. First of all, this is just a plain gorgeous jacket. The luggage color has kind of a slight amber rust tint to it, and I think it's even better looking in person than it is on the website. However, the waxy finish, as I mentioned before, isn't particularly robust, and even the lightest of scratches show prominently. The leather is rich and supple and really shouldn't need much of a break in. And the sheepskin collar is soft and it's warm and it does a great job of keeping the wind off my neck. The overall design of this jacket is, let's just say a bit schizophrenic. The back yoke and the collar scream rancher, 
but the long sleeves in the high hand pocket say motorcycle jacket. However, it somehow works. And in my opinion, it works really well. And it gives off both a vintage vibe and a BA attitude. On top of all of that, since the collar is removable, it really does take on a whole different look when it's gone. And it's almost like getting a second jacket. You just have to kind of choose your shirt wisely when you take off the sheepskin collar because the brass snap that holds it in place, it might, depending on your shirt, press against your skin. And speaking of snaps and buckles and zippers, they are all solid. And I really don't imagine that they will ever fail me for any reason at all. The main zipper does need a little breaking in though, since it is a bit stiff and kind of sticky at first. The flannel lining is soft and it's comfortable. And even though there's no insulation in the jacket, it is very warm. And I'm sure that I'm gonna be able to wear this in cold temperatures, especially with the right clothes layered underneath. When I ordered this, I used Shot's fit guide to find the right size. And that involved plugging in my height and my weight and my age and my chest size to get their recommendation. It did recommend that I get a medium, but since if I bump the chest size up just one inch, it recommended I got a large. So I got one of each with the intention of only keeping the one that fit best. I ended up keeping the medium and as you might be able to see, it fits wonderfully. And I know that this fit is just gonna get better over time as the jacket conforms to my back and shoulders. Hey, tap that like button if you love a well-fitting leather jacket. All in all, the Shot Rancher jacket is a real heritage piece that's more than just a jacket, but it's kind of an experience that it's probably gonna outlive me and it's gonna be passed on to one or more of my sons. And it may have found that place in my heart that my old racer jacket from high school had. Okay, let's talk about the bad of the Shot NYC Rancher. Well, as far as the jacket goes, there's really not much to knock here besides being very expensive. At 1100 bucks, it is the most expensive item of clothing I have ever purchased. It cost even more than my first car. If you're anything like me, you might stress out over a purchase that's large, but not absolutely necessary. The Midwest here is the land of Carhartts and hoodies. It's not the land of luxury leather jackets. So pulling the trigger on a jacket like this one has the potential to lead to some anxiety and maybe some buyer's remorse or worse yet, it might lead to an argument with my wife. But I think that the only real complaint about buying this shot is the actual buying experience, starting with Shot NYC's kind of antiquated website. It really does look like it hasn't been updated in like 20 years. And the product page for the rancher seemed to be pretty sparse on information, with the exception of the very helpful fit guide. Helpful information such as sleeve length, leather thickness, or even information about the wax finish is missing from the website and the inside pocket it's it's not even mentioned in the description even though it's displayed in one of the pictures on the product page when spending this kind of money i really like to have the details in fact the only way i was able to find any information about the leather was from a shot forum that I found while doing a Google search. And there aren't even any links to the forum from the store website that I was able to find. In addition, if you want to return an item to shot, it's gonna cost you $9.95, so almost 10 bucks. So if you wanna do what I did and order two sizes for comparison, it's gonna cost you. Lastly, when I emailed shot a question about my new jacket, I never received a reply. Maybe my email landed in their spam. All of this combined kind of adds up to a subpar shopping experience, in my opinion. Hey, on a scale of one to 10, how bad does it bother you 
when your post-sale email doesn't get answered? Let me know down in the comments. All right, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion, but if you're getting some value out of this, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Shot NYC Antique Cowhide Rancher Jacket is a wearable work of art. <laughs> and it feels, smells, and performs like a legend. However, its expensive price has a greater ouch factor because of a sales and support experience that could use some improvement. If you want to see my review of a far less expensive leather jacket, then check out this one here. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you over in the next video.